hello guys welcome back to the goya channel in today's lecture i will tell you about the nosocomial infections so if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please do subscribe it first and like my video and share my video and so now let's begin our lecture so first of all i would like to tell you about what is nosocomial infections so nosocomial infection is an any infection which is acquired during hospitalization and which was not present or incubating at the time of admission so nosocomial infections are considered to be the hospital acquired if they develop at least for at least 48 hours after hospital hospital admission without proven prior incubation 3 days after hospital discharge or within 30 days of an operative procedures so nosocomial infections are the major public health problem worldwide and they contribute significant, uh, significantly to morbidity and mortality 70% are due to antibiotic resistance organism and uh, the icu patient already have critical and unstable vital functions so now i will talk about the indian scenario of hospital infection or nosocomial infection so in india there is about 10 to 30% population which go to hospital acquired nosocomial infection which is in west about 5 to 10% only the rate varies and the average incidence is 5 to 10% but maybe up to 20% in icu there are three main component which will decide whether the individual will get hospital acquired infection or not so first is susceptible host host the uh, in susceptible host the first factor is age age will very important as you know in covid 19 or corona virus the people who are above 50 or have um, um, and they are old will acquire the covid 19 more rapidly than the healthy human being or the younger ones so age is a very important factor in the infection second is poor nutritional status if the person is malnourished so the immunity is automatically low so he or she will get the infection second is comorbidity if the person is suffering from any other illness or any other disease and when he go to the uh, visit to the uh, hospital he will get he or she will get the infection severity of underlying disease anatomic barrier breached like ivs folies and vents etc the they will also lead to the hospital acquired infections second is virulent organism there are variety of uh, organism uh, which can cause um, hospital or nosocomial infection and uh, institutional and human uh, human reservoir and the virulence and many resistant to the multiple antibiotic so organism is also very important because it is a causative agent so if the organism is uh, sub uh, resistant to the multiple antibiotics so it will difficult to treat that nosocomial infection so organism play vital role uh, in the nosocomial infection third one is environmental factor like hospital location diagnostic procedures immuno suppressive chemotherapy antibiotics medical and surgical devices biofilm and exposure to infected patient or health workers and asymptomatic carriers these three factor or three component will decide whether the patient will get uh, infection or not the next is source of infection so first source of there are two source of infection first is exogenous and second is endogenous in exogenous there are two type of source one is animate which are living thing 
and second is inanimate or like which are non living thing animate or animate things are like patients who are suffering from infectious disease staff visitors and cross infections like patient to patient patient to staff uh, and staff to patient like this in inanimate object it will account only 15% like air 5% through the air if the air is infected with the mycobacterium tuberculosis organism it will cause tuberculosis so it will um, the air will be very important factor because it can cause various type of disease it can carry various type of microorganism and uh, second is instruments if the instruments are infected uh, in they can cause infection in the patient second is endogenous source endogenous source like patient own microflora or the auto infection we can call it auto infection because auto infection only occur when the patient immune system is very low so when the patient immune system is very low and uh, due to that the own microflora patient's own uh, human own microflora will start attacking its host next is mode of transmission so the infection uh, type of infection is also depend on the mode of transmission so first mode of transmission is contact so there are two type of contact first is direct like person to person it could be through sexual intercourse or it could be through the handshake or hugging or kissing and second is indirect through an inanimate objects like pencil rubber eraser table and the towels etc second is airborne true airborne phase like uh, organism some diseases are airborne uh, uh, only spread to the airborne matlab they are airborne uh, spread to the airborne transmission so like tb like tuberculosis and varicella the third is common vehicle like matlab through the ingestion ingestion through like ingestion of the infected or contaminated food or through the water or and it, it could be blood product uh, through the transfusion and the, through the infected IV, iv fluids fourth one is droplet the brief passage through the air in close proximity that will cause influenza fifth one is orthopods this is rare but the possible route like house fly and uh, like flea which can cause uh, um bubonic plague uh, which is caused by the yersinia pestis and this is the major this graph represent the major type of nosocomial infection as you can see overall there is a high number of uti urinary tract infection second the high number of pneumonia third one is um surgical infections fourth one is blood stream and the fifth one is other infection the uti is a main uh, major type of nosocomial infection uh, which uh, mainly occur in female these are the causative agents and these are the type of in type of infection like pneumonia blood stream infection surgical infection and urinary tract infection so these are the organism there are some gram negative organism which are uh, which, which are responsible for the nosocomial infection and there are some gram positive infection or uh, organism which are um, uh, responsible for the nosocomial infection in gram negative organism there is a e coli which is a main causative agent of the urinary tract infection in females or male as well the klebsiella pneumoniae enterobacter species seriaceae marsinae and pseudomonas aeruginosa as um, acinetobacter species and other organism also 
in gram positive there is a uh, coccolase negative staphylococcus aureus and staphylococcus aureus also there are enterococci and other organism which are gram positive can also cause the nosocomial infections nosocomial infection change in the microbiology like in in mid 90s the enterobacterial species like uh, like gram negative organism e coli klebsiella shigella salmonella they are main causative agent of the nosocomial infection staphylococcus aureus pseudomonas aeruginosa coccolase negative staphylococcus aureus they are causative agent in the mid 90s of the nosocomial infection uh, 80s sorry in mid 90s the, um, there is a increased chances of the nosocomial infection by the gram positive cocci like streptococcus pneumoniae and like emergence of fungi like candida species or um, and the recognition of the viruses like viruses are also the causative agent of the nosocomial infections now i will talk about the mdr gram negative rods mdr stands for the multi drug resistance gram negative rods they are defined as the isolate that are susceptible to more than one class of antimicrobial agent excluding colistin and the main organism which care, which are problematic uh, in treatment like acinobacter bermini stenotrophomonas maltophia and pseudomonas aeruginosa they are highly drug resistant organism uti with the multi resistant increase from 22.7% to 30% pneumonia increase to the 8.3 to 33.3% and in bsi from 4.7 to 60% infection with mdr gnr are difficult to manage and will likely require more than just stringent ic practice there are some um, fungal and viral nosocomial infection there are some species which causes the uh, nosocomial fungal and nosocomial infection like in fungal this is candida species and in like and the second one is aspergilla species which causes the aspergillosis and in viral there is a herpes simplex varicella zoster hepatitis viruses a b and c hiv infection through the blood transfusion influenza and para influenza viruses through the uh, airborne transmission rsv rotavirus and cytomegaloviruses can also cause the nosocomial infections in human host major there are major type of nosocomial infection first is pneumonia second is urinary infection third one is surgical site infection fourth one is blood stream infection so thank you for watching my video and please do subscribe my channel this is only the first part of the nosocomial infection second part and third part will also come after few days so please do subscribe my channel like my video and share my video thank you and have a nice day